At 530 with a pretty severe warning for the NFTA, a top ranking civil rights official believes the agency may have broken the law when Chick-fil-A was dropped from plans for the Buffalo Airport. So do you think the NFTA should reconsider? Let us know right now at WGRZ.com slash vote. And two on your side's Emily Lampa brings us this update tonight. This is a letter sent by Peter Kersenow to the chair of NFTA's board. Kersenow is the longest serving commissioner with the U.S. Commission on Civil Rights, and he's calling out the NFTA, urging the agency to rescind its ban of Chick-fil-A at the Buffalo airport, saying the restaurant chain would likely sue the NFTA's members in their official and personal capacities. A governmental actor cannot discriminate against a contractor, a private contractor, for exercising First Amendment rights, which includes the right to provide financial support to a cause in which they believe. Two on your side reached out to the NFTA, and a spokesperson tells us that the decision to accept or deny Chick-fil-A lies with Delaware North, the company contracted for the concession revamp project. Kersenow says if Chick-fil-A decides to sue, the timeline is important here. It was last Thursday when the NFTA approved and unveiled tentative plans to add a Chick-fil-A location to the airport food court. That same night, Assemblyman Sean Ryan first called on the NFTA to reconsider their approval of the plan, which he explained to Two on Your Side's Michael Wooten. The money you spend at Chick-fil-A uh, goes to fund some pretty virulent anti-gay and, and lesbian uh, policies. Just one day later, the NFTA confirmed that Chick-fil-A was no longer a part of plans at the airport. That type of pressure is something that has First Amendment implications. We reached out to Assemblyman Ryan. His spokesperson tells us he has no comment on the letter. I think he's probably well intended. I understand that. But the actions that were taken were wrong. They were against the law. And those cases have gone all the way to the Supreme Court and they've prevailed at the Supreme Court because again, the law's clear on this. Well, since the NFTA says that Delaware North made the decision to drop Chick-fil-A last week, we reached out to them to confirm this. We sent emails, left voice messages. We're still waiting to hear from them. If, in fact, Delaware North did make that decision on their own, it's still not clear if that shields the NFTA from potential litigation. Mm.